What up? We're here today working on Ben's 240. This is Ben. He's next door. My shop's over here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're working on the rear end because here, let's show it to you. Let's show it to you. She's a little torn up. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't really have a booty. So, I put in this uh, bracket for his fuel cell and then we're going to weld a tube rear on it today. So, hell yeah, let's get to it. Dude, so yeah, like I was thinking if we just came straight out and then diagonal like right here. Mm hmm Like 45? Yeah. And then like right where that jacking point is will probably be right here and then it kind of comes in. So it actually might like hit perfect yeah. with... And if it doesn't we can always like... Readjust it slightly. Yeah. yeah. Cut it and re -weld it. And then 45 over here and back just... Just super simple. Yeah. And then... For the bash bars, honestly, if we wanted to, because they're 45 right here, we could have them like mounted right here. Then, because they're going to be 90s, uh -huh. we'd have them just mount to the 45. Or we could. Have oh yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Because they'd be kind of like centered in the corners, you know what I mean? Okay. So we got to figure out this and then dimension. We'll cut that round piece to come from right here from the strut tire, like down onto okay. the square piece. Yeah, that curt, that bent one. Yeah. So we got to figure out what well, this dimension, and then how far we want to go 45 and then that length, and then we can just replicate it on the other side. Yes. Hey, what are we doing? Um, well, if I pour this chemical here into this chemical, wait, 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 hold on, excuse me, excuse me, this chemical into, into this chemical. You grow wings. <laughs> this is so cringy. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about fabricate. We don't want to hear what he wants to talk about. <laughs> Fabrication is fucking cool. Angles, bro. <laughs> Wait, why don't I just do this to see what happens? How tall is this gonna be? I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah. So it lean, it's leaning at an angle, but we can just grind those flat to where it doesn't lean at an angle. Is it gangster leaning right now? I think it is. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit of a gangster leaning. We should just leave this and then put a tow hitch on it. Tow hitch, yeah. yeah. And you can tow your 240 with your 240. You can tow my 240 with your 240. Uh, tow both of the 240s. Yeah, that makes sense. Triple 240 train. Triple 240. Your car. Lost 
do. It's stone cold. What's up? Daddy, buddy. Too angry? No. No, I'm not too angry now. That's good. This car's too good. Yeah, out. dude. The suspension's out. good, so I'm like, I'm happy. I was stressing so bad about the suspension. It's changed a lot over like a day or two. Yeah, look at all this overspray. Looks better than the paint job I had before. Really See, there was no masking involved in the process of painting this car. <laughs> Therefore, it needs to be buffed with a razor blade on the windshields. That's, that's not bad. No, no, that's like, that's even it, yeah, when it's that's really when good, I grind man. them smooth. It's, yeah, that's not bad. It's this stuff keeping it apart, so it's like perfect. Oh, okay, that makes sense. The paint didn't turn out too bad on this bitch, all rainbow and shit and gold flake. No. Dude, for what it was before, it's looking like way better. Soon. Look at that fitment. How you like it? You like it? Sick, dude. Yeah. Never thought I'd see this day where it's actually like an actual structure. I have to pee again. Thought you got too excited. Is on the first tray. Probably way off. Hello. Yeah, way off. No! Oh, you even got welded to these ones too. Yeah, I was literally on the last spot right here. It's done. Like, I don't even need to weld anymore. Yeah, dude, little like touch up areas for like if you wanted to add a bead there, maybe. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I kind of want to like. I almost want to set this out there just to see. Is that what? The side, it's pretty tempting to look at it. Watch it not fit. <laughs> All of a sudden. I, that's why I tucked this as close as I could, like on the actual cell, yeah. like touching, because otherwise you run into issues. Dude, it really does. Say. I'm so stoked, dude. Look, you actually have a car that looks like two grand. Now. I know, dude. It's got a booty. Look at that fuel cell in the weird license plate hole. Yeah, it looks so dope. <laughs> So 
So guys, it's uh, about one, actually I don't even know, 1.17 a.m. and I'm finally getting uh, on my way home. We finished up that tube rear end. As you guys saw, it came out really nice. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I'm, I'm fried, I'm freaking tired. Let me know what you guys think of videos like that where I'm hanging out with my buddies. Uh, that car is making a lot of progress, so I could definitely make a decent amount of content on that specific car. If you guys don't know, it's my friend Ben's. It's got an SR20, uh, like full suspension build basically. He's building it to go drifting, obviously. Um, pretty cool car, but uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. That's the first time I've ever done like a tube rear or whatever, and we're gonna add bash bars to it and stuff, but it came out really nice and I'm pretty proud of it. It was definitely fun making it and fun to try something else. I love fabricating and I love getting better at welding and you know problem solving and that sort of thing. So I love tackling projects like that and I haven't had a good one like that uh, in a good while because everything on the Porsche is sort of put together that's that big. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to like this video. If you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and leave me a comment talk to me. I love it when you guys talk to me. That's going to be it. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Peace.